Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be learning about inequalities with negative coefficients and you will be able to work on 2.7. Today, students will be able to solve inequalities with negative coefficients. And just a reminder, um, with inequality symbols, it means that it's a, not exactly one uh, value. It's less than that value, and it can be many values. For example, if it says that it's less than 5, it can be 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and even negatives. Uh, greater than, it's again, it's not one specific answer. It's a range of greater than whatever the number is. It does not include the number. If it says less than 5, it doesn't include the 5. Greater than, let's say, 2, it does not include the 2. But sometimes we have this symbol which is less or equal to. Okay, it includes, if it says less or equal uh, to 5, then it's 5 included, 4, 3, 2, 1, etc. Okay, so this equal sign, it means that it includes the number that you are talking about. Others that we are not or less familiar with is at most. At most uh, sounds like the word more, and it sounds like some people want to do greater, but no, it's the opposite. At most in Spanish sería uh, lo, lo, lo más que te puedo dar. Okay? So, for example, if somebody is asking for $20, I'm sorry, but the, at most I can give you $18 or something like that per hour. Another one is the limit. Okay, so this in Spanish is lo máximo que te puedo dar o que puedes tener o que te puedo um, dar por un carro, for example. Okay, the limit also is like you can choose any values below that, but the limit is that. Okay, so it also means including that number or less. For greater or equal to, okay, it means that it's bigger than that. So it's on the top, greater or equal to, but it includes the number. If it says uh, x is greater or equal to 5, it means 5 included, 6, 7, 8, etc. At least, again, it's similar to the word less, and that's why some people get confused and they think that it's less, but no. At least means por lo menos. Okay, I want $20 at least if you want me to work for you. Okay, so at least por lo menos. O sea, sé que quiero más. I want more than that. Okay, I want more than that. At least $20 or more. So that's why it's greater than $20. And that's fine. If you give me the $20, I still accept it. That's why it has the equal sign. Another one that, that goes with greater or equal is not less than. I will not get, I need that or more. Okay, not less than five. I mean, not less than 20. Or the other one is the minimum that I'm gonna accept is twenty dollars per hour. Okay. Um, I think that's gonna help us. Okay. So let me tell you so that we understand. Because some people um, know the rule that we switch the symbol. But let's look. We have here Petronila and Pepito. Petronila has one dollar. And Pepito has $2. Who has more? Pepito has more. So we put this with because um, the 2 is greater. One thing that some people forget uh, with time is how do we know if this is less or greater than? I say, okay, we know that this is smaller than 1 is smaller than 2. The 2 is going to get 2 dots. The 1 will get 1 dot because it's smaller. 
and then you connect it so we can just read that one dollar is less than two. Oh, so that symbol means less okay so that's what can help you uh, another one you put a, uh, the bigger one here the smaller one here which one is greater the three so I give three the two dots I give two the one dot I connect it and I know that three is greater than two so oh the symbol for greater is like that okay so that's just a, a small hint of what you can do to remember if you forget you can just do the test of writing two numbers one with the smaller one on the left and one with the bigger one on the left okay having that in mind okay what if i give two dollars to both petronila and pepito so that means that i'm adding two so one plus two is three yay petronila has three dollars but i also give the two dollars to pepito pepito has two plus two is four who has more well pepito has four and petronila three so pepito gets the two dots and petronila one dot i connect it and i say that pepito still has it has more money okay what if instead of this let's erase that and instead of that, I subtract $3 from both Petronila and Pepito. So I'm going to take away $3. Petronila doesn't have enough money. So that means that she's now going to have a debt of $2. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So now she owes. Owes. Debe. $2. Pepito has $2, but then I subtract 3. Now he owes only $1. Oh, because the debt of Pepito is smaller, that means that he is at a better situation. So he, we say that Petronila is still less than Pepito or has less money than Pepito. Now, what if I multiply? Multiply by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, oh, Pepito still has more money. So Pe Petronila has less than Pepito. But what if I multiply by negative 2? 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, now Petronila has a debt of $2 only, and Pepito has a debt of $4. So, so his situation is worse. That means that Petronila is greater, just because he, her debt is smaller, is greater than Pepito. Okay? So notice when we subtracted, Pepito was still greater than. When we added, Pepito was still greater when we multiply by a positive number, Pepito was still uh, greater than. But when we multiply by a negative, the symbol switched. Okay? It's not less than, it's now greater than. When we multiply by a negative. What if we divide by... Let's do negative one so that we don't... Positive divided by negative is negative. 1 divided by 1 is 1. Positive divided by negative is negative. 2 divided by 1 is 2. Still, Petronila, Petronila's debt is smaller. Pepito's uh, bigger. So that means that because she's at a better situation, she has, she's greater. El que tiene menos deuda Es el que más dinero va a tener eventualmente cuando reciban su cheque. Los dos pagan y ella va a tener más dinero. Okay? So the one with smaller debt, uh, once they get their equal check, they pay and she will have more money. That's one way you can see it. Or just think, if you have less debt or it's closer to zero and both are negative, then that's greater. 
So notice when you multiply, let me put that note. When we multiply or divide by a negative, the symbol changes. Okay? This symbol changes direction in multiplication and division. Okay, very important. Multiplication and division. But it has to be by a negative. Because if you multiply by a positive, you still have the same symbol. It's only when you multiply or divide by a negative. It has to have those two characteristics. Okay, a negative then the symbol changes. Okay, he's greater than, not less than. And if it was greater, then it's going to go the other way. So it just switches, basically. Now, we're going to be working with some more examples, but it's um, just the skills. So if we're adding 3, the opposite is to subtract 3 from both sides. We get negative x is greater than... 2. Notice how in here we're not switching the symbol. It's only in multiplication and division of a negative. Okay, not in addition or subtraction. In here we're going, we have a negative, so we're going to divide by negative 1 because we cannot leave the variable as negative. And because we're dividing by negative 1, what happens with the symbol? tornado and so it switches to the other side so it's not greater than now it's less than positive divided by negative negative two divided by one two okay and so that's my answer in here we say that x is less Less is one dot, so we're going to go to the left. So I'm going to put two lines. I noticed that this number is negative, so I'm going to have zero in here. The negatives go in that direction, so I'm going to put negative two in there. This number tells me where the circle is, so I'm going to put the circle in there. I don't have a little pencil, so I don't ink in or I don't close the circle. It's open circle. And this tells me to the left, so I'm going to go from the circle, uh, point the arrow to the left, from the circle, okay? Some people want to put it in the zero. No, it's from the circle that I drew. Okay, the next one. In here, we only have multiplication, so the opposite is to divide by a negative 2, remember that in division and multiplication we keep the same sign. So again, this cancels, you have x. Because we're dividing by a negative, remolino, okay, the tornado. And so instead of less, it's now greater. Only because this is division and this is a negative. Okay, if this was positive, you don't need to switch it. Negative divided by negative is positive. 10 divided by 2 is 5. For the graph, this is positive. So I'm just going to put the 0 here and the positive 5 here. The 5 tells me where to put my circle. I don't have a little pencil, so I don't close... I don't close the, the circle. This tells me that x is greater and the greater values are to the right. From the circle, I'm gonna draw, I'm going to draw the arrow to the right, okay? Again, it's open because it doesn't have an equal sign. You know what, I'm gonna add an equal sign in here so that, um, we can practice that. Okay, in here, this is multiplication. We're dividing. 
and this cancels. But notice how in here, when we're dividing, this is positive. When the value is positive, the tornado will not come. So this is going to stay the same. Less or equal than negative divided by positive is negative. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Again, some people get confused and they think that the switching is because of the, of the answer. But that's not it. It's if we're dividing by a negative. Okay? or multiplying, then that's when we switch the symbol. In this case, the two is positive, we don't switch it. Okay, and here we have a negative three, so zero is going to be here. Negative three is on the left. That's where we put the circle. This little pencil, it means equal. So the value of x is less or equal the negative 3. Equal means that it includes the negative 3. And since we have one dot in here, it means less, so it goes to the left. The left, uh, the lesser values are always on the left. Okay? Okay, two more. In here, if we're subtracting 3, the opposite is 2 add 3 so x is nothing is dividing or multiplying and nothing is negative so it stays and if you owe three dollars and you pay three dollars so that's equals to zero in this case we only have zero as the value that's where we're going to draw our circle and it says that x is greater than 0. Where are the greater values? Over here, because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are greater, so that's where we're going. Or if you uh, want to use the dots, two dots mean to the right. One dot goes to the left. Okay? Okay, here, this negative belongs to the x. Be careful about that. So the 3 is positive, we're going to subtract that 3 so that we can get rid of it. We end up with a negative x. Okay, don't forget because some people see it in here, they work with this and they just yes, decide to disappear it. No, that belongs to the x, keep it in there. It's subtraction, so we're not switching the symbol yet. 5 minus 3 is 2. Finally, we cannot have a negative variable, so we're going to divide by negative 1. That cancels. And so the value of x, because this is negative, we get the tornado. Okay, and so positive divided by negative is negative. 2 divided by 1 is 2. For the graph... I have negative 2 and 0. Because it's negative, I put the negative 2 on the left. That's where I place my circle. I go and check to see if there is a pencil to color in the circle to close it. Yes, there is. So I'm going to close the circle. Okay. This closes the circle. And the x is greater or equal so greater is to the right two dots mean to the right okay so that's it now you're able to work on 2.7 and have fun